If faith is like a like as small as a mustard seed, you know. And it goes on to say there is scarcely next sentence down, next two sentences down, any form of trouble and misery, which not has not any form of trouble and misery. Meet calamity with serenity. Here's one other thing I wanted to cover here was like, and this is this says it to me a lot here. I mean, I had a lot of things, but you ever hear the song Amazing Grace? This is what we're talking about. Having that spiritual awakening, spiritual, you know, it just this is a song. Look, you know, what's interesting about these songs in here? Go to a uh, you know, place with you know, basement of a church, and you'll hear these songs. You go to the Salvation Army, you know, they'll be playing these songs. How crazy are we in this society? How crazy the intellect, the, the people in this society, and ourselves? We think we know the answers, and, and yet we'll, we look at these people like you know, and it took us to hit bottom. Be so happy that you're here and that you hit bottom finally because you can have this amazing grace. And what's going to happen is you're going to look in life. Life perception is going to change. You have the new pair of glasses. You're going to see the people you said who were, thought were so, quote, quote, normal. I, you know, when I sit back and I have this spiritual awakening, I can look around and see that like a carrot on a stick, they're chasing a success. All the successful people we admire in life, how sad are they? How sad are they that their life is dependent on you know, their, their happiness. They could be, ha- you know, very, very successful and they meet another successful person who's a little bit more successful and they're depressed, right? What a way to run your life. Having people, places, and things control you like a puppet on a string. We want to be free. We want to be happy, joyous, and free. It says, Amen- amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Remember I told you about the sound of the gong? Just that one sound. When we get into, we're in the eternal present. That's why they hit that gong. Or look at a flower, the beauty of nature. There's the answer. And then it goes on to say, that saved a wretch like me. It was only when I came in here and realized that step one said I was powerless. Step two said I was I had to be restored to sanity. I had to realize the wretchedness of my thinking, how spiritual bankrupt I was. When I, and also when I went to material things like alcohol, drugs, and food. You know, we, when that perception change, we talk about, if you're here for the food, we, a lot of meetings, if you listen to them, you go on like YouTube or we come to these meetings, we talk, we get into the food a lot, believe me. I once was lost and now I'm found. Do you realize how lost you are if you're sitting there upset? You lost your way. You think that people's situations, that you're bothered by somebody in your life, the resentment, the anger, what is that all about? You lost your way. Letting them have rent free in your head, that's what you're doing. Taking the poison and hoping the other person will die. Again, taking the poison, hoping the other person will die, letting them live rent free in your head. We're like you're like a puppet on a string, or we are when we think that way. They're, you know, we're being controlled. It talks about that on page sixty-four, be, being controlled by people like a puppet on a string. We were blind, but now I see. Do we real? Do, do you understand that when you're upset, you're blind, you don't see the amazing power of the universe, you don't have the energy. And it's all due to the ego. Ego, selfishness, self sentence that was the cause of a problem. Verse 2 says, "'Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved." By this amazing, when we have the, the, the fear of the ego, it's saying, making ourselves higher power, we have that, you know, when we realize the problem and the grace is relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. This whole program, look, all the religions of the world, the philosophy is about believing, having faith, that faith, right? Eastern is meditation, the Western, and you put them together, it's about that spiritual waking, having faith. The hour I first believed. What does that mean, the hour I first believed? Did you first believe? Did you come in this program for years and try to figure it out and have camaraderie, call 100 people, have 1,000 sponsors, go to 1,000 meetings? Did you first believe? Are you still thinking of this self? If you're telling me about your problems, I think you're thinking of you. When, you, when you're out of the self, there's no problem there anymore. The self is due to the ego and the self, and the problem has to do with, with the whole thing with the self and the ego. So when we admitted that, when we came to that resolu- you know, that, that feeling, that, that change, what does step three talk about? Let me go quickly, and we're going to do that, and, and page 63, and then we're going to hear from everybody else here which is amazing. The shares last time were, were really amazing. And, and we always keep a list of people here. No, I'm kidding. But I had that spiritual awakening. And uh, 
you know so hey we haven't gotten rid of anybody yet everybody who came here is still here so i tried hard to to give you some thoughts that you might not agree with you know the one about self-esteem that gets everybody all the time or all our problems of our own making wow and it, my favorite one that maybe people leave now is that and anything it's it's always our fault hey that that's a that's a real killer there it's our fault right who could believe that it's our fault no, it's everybody else's fault right go believe that it didn't work for me you know, the people out there, if they would only, it says in that book, if they would only behave right, then, then life would be great. So on page 63, it says, as we felt new power flow in, we enjoyed peace of mind. New power. The old Bob, the old self, the old whatever your name is out there. Whatever your name is out there. Get rid of it. That's, you know, it's, it, that's not life. That's false. That's not true. The, the self is what your parents told you. You know, when you're in school, you had to get good grades, be good at sports. You had to make money, be successful. What is, that's the old self. Okay, it says, this on page 63 in a second, near the bottom, near the top, I don't know. We began to lose fear of today, tomorrow, the hereafter, we were reborn. Reborn. Talk about that in religions, right? We were reborn. Reborn in thinking. A fear of today, tomorrow, the hereafter. What more could be said? And the first sentence of the third step prayer. Look, how many times are you going to read this? You do it intellectually. The longest distance is from the brain to the heart. Bring this in your heart right now so you could have that spiritual awakening and not suffer anymore, right? You need, even newcomers coming in here, talks about that and working with others. It says they needed that spiritual release. You know, how many, if you look on page 100, they're telling you how to deal with a newcomer. Do the spiritual program with them, right? But how many have been here for years? And even with our sponsees, we're still talking about the ways of the world and trying to tell them how to run their lives. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Here it says, God, I offer myself to thee. If you want the answer, your, our ultimate sponsor is God. To build with me and do with me as thou wilt. God's will. When I'm miserable, it's my Bob's will. Relieve me of bondage of self that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties. It goes on to say, thy love, thy way of life, thy will always. That's talking to wives on page 118. They said that love and tolerance and patience they had for their husbands was through God's consciousness, that real, that source. Don't have to think if you can, whatever you want, a deity or whatever, but that source is in here. It's always been there from the day we were born to the day, day we are now. But anyway, so enough of that. <laughs> and I say I come here to hear the share, so I don't know I'm going on and on. So I'd love to hear what everybody has to say.